greater public seems to think, well, it's one less thug. Well, let me tell you about this thug who was Dylan Taylor. I checked into that second degree felony aggravated robbery that he had on his record, that the, the, the district attorney used against him, and that every cop I talked to uses against him. Well, he was a criminal. He had a criminal record. In fact, even right now to this day in the police report of that incident, he's not innocent kid caught killed by police officers. What it says is criminal killed by police officer. That's Dylan's title. Now, normally in those reports, it might say suspect or something like that, at, you know, at least. But no, this his says criminal killed by police officers. He wasn't he wasn't a criminal. So let me tell you about his second degree aggravated felony robbery. First of all, he was charged. I'm sorry, I get emotional about this sometimes. He was charged with a first degree aggravated felony robbery. Let me tell you what happened. He was the fourth of four kids who got who were drinking, decided they needed a little bit more, went out for a beer run, decided they were going to steal themselves a uh, 12-pack of beer. Not exactly the brightest thing to do, but not exactly the only time that's ever happened. They go into a 7-Eleven, trying to find one. It was the third one they looked at the, the, because they wanted to find one that didn't have any people in it. They weren't looking to get to cause any real trouble. Dylan stayed in the car. <clears throat> he wasn't the driver of the car. The other two kids who went in who are on video, they are on video. Dylan is not on this video. They went into the 7-Eleven, one of them held the door, the other one grabbed it, and they ran out. Dylan was standing outside the car at that time. The clerk comes out swinging a two by four. Dylan tells him, you know, don't be a hero, buddy. Come on, just let it go. No big deal. It's just some kids, some beer. Just let it go. The clerk claims to have heard Dylan say something about, hey, you better watch it, you're going to get blasted, or don't, don't do that, nobody wants to get blasted. He said the word blasted. Doesn't seem to be confirmed by anyone else. That is what got him charged with a first degree felony aggravated robbery because of, because of the reference to the firearm. He had just turned 18 years old. He was in jail for 123 days. When he pled, he took the plea deal to the second degree felony. Probably, in my experience working with people, he probably either thought that he was going to get out if he pled to something, or he actually was told he was going to get out, but the judge went sideways on the deal that he might have had with his defense attorney and prosecutor. I don't know which right now. But he got sentenced to an entire year. So he went back in jail. He is arguably the person who is trying to calm shit down to keep everybody safe, and he spent a year in jail on those facts. No one was hurt, no one was threatened. He spent a year in jail on those facts. He got out two months later. He got nabbed for having a beer in his hand. Minor in possession of alcohol. Now let me tell you in my experience as a criminal defense attorney, you get maybe a $500 fine, sometimes less in some jurisdictions. You don't even lose your driver's license. No jail time. It's a slap on the wrist, no big deal. We understand kids are going to be kids. But not for him. On that crime, yes, he didn't do any time for that. But it violated the probation. You've heard me talk about fucking get off probation as fast as you can. It violated his probation on that first crime. And he ended up doing another 90 days from that same judge. Another 90 days. So, so let me ask you to just think about that. I already know I'm, I'm, I'm preaching to the choir here because I know you guys hear this shit on TV about, oh, criminal record, and you don't believe it, and you don't give any weight to it. But that's why Dylan, in the eyes of everybody except those who are here, was a thug. Now, you tell me if that's what that should mean. No! Hell no! No! Way. no. So I've rambled on too long, and I'm probably getting uh, heat stroke standing here. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna close. I just I I thank you all for being here. Please keep the heat on. Uh, for those who don't know, I've known Dylan since he was 14 through my friends Gina and Denny, and um, and it's a very personal thing for me to be involved in this movement. Hey,
would say yes and leave him up to sit there and cry. Five and a half hours. I hope the departments choke on these papers. I want to thank our legal team so much. Kelly Fowler, you're awesome. Robert Cummings, you're awesome. Our newcomer, Los Borrego, can't wait to meet you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for coming. When the cops oh, yeah. and the they, prosecutors they, they from and the March legal defenders they and the judges all have a check yeah. every and month that comes that's signed it's by so the same slow, guy, you know? I mean, right. it's a little Cleveland. interesting, yeah. you know? Right, exactly. <laughs> Not that I'm a conspiracy the theorist, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> when you all sleep no, in the same bed, someone's bound to get Yeah, well.